Are you an Arch Linux user? If you are, you almost certainly install packages from the AUR, the Arch user repository. And really, the AUR is the main reason why so many of us use Arch. And if you install packages from the AUR, well, you could do it just the standard command line way with the make package command, you know, the official Arch way to build a package. But most people, when they install something from the AUR, they use what are known as AUR helper programs. The most popular AUR helper is the Yay program. But Yay is not really being maintained anymore, and one of the people that was helping maintain Yay has recently ditched Yay, and he started his own AUR helper program called Paru, which is written in Rust. So about two months ago, you guys let me know about the version 1.0 release for Paru. So this was one of the guys that was helping maintain Yay. He was letting everybody know that they should move over to Paru because Yay is not really being maintained anymore. For those of you that want to go ahead and install Paru and start using it, Paru is in the AUR. If you already have another AUR helper installed on your system, such as Yay, you would just, with Yay, install Paru. Now, if you don't have another AUR helper installed, what you need to do is you need to install the package, I guess the official Arch way. There is an official Arch way to install AUR packages uh, if you don't use an AUR helper. What you need to do is make sure you have the base devel packages installed on the system. They're probably already there, but make sure. And then what you need to do is you need to get clone this particular URL, then CD into the new Paru directory that was cloned, and then simply run make package space dash SI. It's very easy to install these AUR packages without an AUR helper, but an AUR helper does come in handy because other than just installing packages, you know, it can help update your system. It can update all of the packages on your system. It can update only the AUR packages on your system. Uh, you know, it can even uh, install packages not in the AUR. It can install packages from the standard uh, Pac-Man repositories as well. So really, when you install something like Paru, it really kind of replaces Pac-Man for you as well, because you really don't need to use Pac-Man. You can just use Paru to handle all the packages installed on your system. Now, Paru does have a man page. It's got a, a ton of flags and options available. For those of you that just want a very quick overview on their GitHub page, there are some examples of some of the common commands you would use with Paru. Well, what I think I'll do is let me switch over to my desktop and I'll uh, show you guys Paru in action here. So I'm going to zoom in here and let me clear the screen. And Paru looks like it has all the same flags and options as Yay, which makes sense because, you know, one of the guys that was maintaining Yay created Paru. So it makes sense that he kept everything kind of consistent. So if you run a Paru space dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u, that would update your system. So uh, I just ran an update uh, earlier today, so I should not have an, uh, an update available. But Paru space dash syu, think of that as, you know, Pac-Man dash syu, essentially. There's already packages for update, and I just updated this morning. Well, we've already got another kernel. It looks like the LTS kernel. I'm going to decline the update. But other than Paru dash SYU, if you just did Paru without any arguments, that is exactly the same as Paru dash SYU. So you don't necessarily have to do the dash SYU, but the reason they kept the dash SYU working is because of consistency, because that was the same flags you could use with Yay. It's also the same flags you can use with Pac-Man. And let me decline that update. Another common command I would run with something like Yay or with Paru is I want to update not my... Uh, standard repository packages. I want to just update the AUR packages. And how you do that is you do Paru space dash capital S lowercase u lowercase a. And this was the same command, same flags that you used with uh, yay as well. So again, the flags are very similar. Those of you that are using yay, you're going to have no problems using Paru. The only, I guess, downside with Paru as opposed to yay is Paru is four letters long instead of yay, which is three letters long. So you have to type one extra character. But that's how you would just update, you know, your uh, AUR packages only is dash SUA. I'm actually not going to take those AUR updates right now either. For those of you that want to install something using Paru, uh, let's install an AUR package. So I know that uh, GNU IceCat is in the AUR. Now you could do Paru space dash capital S 
kind of like pacman dash capital s or yay dash capital s to install a package so i could do if i can type correctly ice cat i know that's in the aur i'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because other than paru dash capital s name of package you could also just do paru name of package so you don't actually have to do the dash capital s uh, and i will go ahead and run this just so you can see um, that you know the dash capital s is unnecessary other than the SUA command, if you wanted to just list out all the available AUR updates without really wanting to take the updates, for example, I just want to know what updates are available. I don't necessarily want to update the system. You could do paru space dash capital Q, lowercase u, lowercase a. And this will just tell me what AUR packages I have installed that do have an update available. Now, I don't want to show you every single flag and option available for Paru, but you know, Paru space dash capital R for remove, similar to Pac-Man dash R or yay dash R, for, would remove a program if I had IceCat installed. That's how I would remove it, for example. Uh, let me do a quick man for Paru just to show you what is available. You have the extended Pac-Man operations. So again, these flags that are all available in Pac-Man, dash R, dash S, SI, SL, SS, you know, all the standard Pac-Man flags that you, you commonly use, they are also extended to work here in Paru as well. And as I get to the bottom of the man page here, we have some more examples of how to use Paru. It looks like these examples are actually different than the ones that were on the GitHub page. It shows you uh, how to search for a package in the AUR using dash capital S lowercase s for uh, Paru dash SS name of package will actually search for that name in the AUR. Let me quit out of the man page. One thing to know is that Paru does have you know, color options. Uh, it, it has some coloring effects to it. If you already had coloring enabled in Pac-Man. So if you use Arch, if you didn't know, if, if Pac-Man does allow you to turn on colors. And how you do that is if I did a sudo vim slash etsy slash pacman.conf. This is your pacman config file. Somewhere in your pacman.conf, you should see a line that has color right here. It's just the word color. Many times this is commented out, so it will have a uh, pound sign, a hash symbol at the beginning of the line, meaning ignore that line. You want to remove that hash symbol, you know, the way I have it, and that will enable color in pacman. And if you have th that enabled in Pac-Man, that's also enabled in Paru. By the way, Paru has a config file too, and that is in slash etsyparu.conf. And this is Paru's config. There's really not many options here. There are two that I want to mention uh, bottom up, which is uh, commented out. Now, if you wanted, you can uncomment that. And what that does is when you get search results, it starts at the bottom and goes upwards. So it just reverses the order of the search results. Some people may find that useful. It also has a file manager line that is commented out by default. But if you uncomment that, the default file manager expects to be on the system is VIFM, but you could replace that with Ranger or NNN. You could probably replace it with a GUI file manager as well, but it makes more sense to use a terminal file manager for it. And what that does is that just, uh, it, it gives you a file manager of choice that, you know, when Paru needs to uh, have you view something in a file manager, if you, for some reason, Paru wants you to view the contents of a directory, you know, you've already specified a file manager for that to happen. But for me, I'm just going to leave all that commented out. I, I really don't need a, a file manager to act with Paru because I'm already in the terminal. The terminal is my file manager. You know, I can just navigate to the directory where I want to, you know, look at the files in it or, or whatever it is that needs to happen. Paru does have some support for syntax highlighting if, as far as during the package build reviews. If you want syntax highlighting for those package build reviews, you need to have the BAT program installed on your system. I currently don't have BAT installed on my system. Uh, BAT is just a, a better version of CAT. What's interesting about BAT is BAT is also written in Rust, which is Paru's written in Rust. So many programs are being rewritten in Rust these days. Uh, Broot, which is another one that I showed you guys, is, is a uh, Rust program. There's so many really cool Rust programs. Alacrity, my terminal of choice, is written in Rust. Anyway, I didn't want this video to run too long. I just wanted to make you guys aware because I know so many of you guys are using Arch Linux or an Arch-based Linux distribution. 
and most of you are using the Yay AUR helper, know that Yay really isn't being maintained anymore, and you should move to Paru. There's no downside. Uh, all your Yay commands work with Paru. Again, the only difference is Paru is one letter longer to type than Yay, but even if that was a big deal, you could always just create an alias, you know, alias Yay to run Paru or something like that if that really bugged you in a major way. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Absy, Fran, Gabe, Corbinian, Mitchell, Akami, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, David, The Other, David, Donnie, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Pick, VM, Scott, Wes, and Willie. They are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this episode. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about the Paru AUR helper. You wouldn't know about it. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because the DistroTube channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.